We have not made it back to the studio for a minute. But we are back. We are back and strong and into the game and all that good stuff in life. Uh, to bring you the absolute best we can do. Welcome back to Craven Cars. My name is Corey and this is another look into Casey Showdown. Here's a little bit. We're going to sit down with Denny Eddy. We're going to talk a little bit more about the Casey Showdown and what it is that has helped him be able to put this show on and the people out there that have helped him put this show on. And a spoiler alert, it starts with sponsors. All right, what to expect to see at Casey Showdown. Uh, when you come in to the front gate, it is $20 cash registration. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff going on that day. Uh, face painting, we got bounce house and kids games for all the kids. Uh, we do have a kids award, so if your kids got a little tykes or anything like that, bring them out. Uh, we're gonna have a motorcycle stunt team called the Casey's Most Wanted going on all day. Uh, we got some low riders coming out to do a uh, show off hop off. So it's not a hop off contest. It's gonna be like showing off and stuff and having some fun. All the food trucks, I got like seven different food vendors coming out and should be a fun time. Last year we had about 350 cars and 2,000 to roughly three, 4,000 people walking around at any given time. Spectators are free, so we encourage everybody to bring mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, get them out there. Uh, you know, we're always banking on the weather to be real nice and, you know, for the past two or three years we had some pretty decent weather so we're looking for that 75 degree nice sunny day you know everybody dreams of beautiful days like today you know if you can come on out and join us it's june 30th on sunday from nine to three at uh, t-bone spaceball stadium should be fun now let's take another look into the sponsors of ones we were able to get a hold of and sit down and talk a little bit more about them and to share their business a little bit for the ones who've actually helped put you know, events like this on. So they're very well appreciated and let's check them out. All right, one of the main sponsors that are gonna be for this show, of course, is LIS Audio. Uh, Cameron and Justice have been real good friends with ours for a long time and they've been with us from the first year and they became one of the major sponsors for us. They, they do a lot of work for us and they also help out at some of our events, passing out flyers and just getting the word out there. We're here at LIS Audio, one of the main sponsors for KC Showdown, coming up June 30th at the T-Bones Baseball Stadium. I am Cameron Chimpo Powell. I'm owner and fabricator here at LIS Audio. Justice Jacksbury, owner, fabricator at LIS Audio. Brands of audio equipment. So how many brands do you have access, I mean, do you use? Um, we use a specific small amount of brands, but we have access to hundreds of different brands. Now, what are your top four? Our top four is going to be Audio Dynamics, um, DS18, Audio Control, and probably Rockford Fosgate. So we've got Denny's car here. It's the Acura RL. We've done a little bit in the trunk as well, custom box. We're gonna fascia it off, make it to where we can match what we've got going on up here. So you can see we've done a couple custom pods, added some lighting. We're gonna match the trunk with that now and complete the whole project. I don't envy you being able to estimate a project for somebody because I feel like that would be super hard. Yeah, it's, it's very particular. It's to the customer because every customer has a totally different preference of what yeah. they want. They have a totally different car and then they gotta see what we can actually offer them to put in their car. Then we can relay that and get their a, a great budget or within their budget. Right. What we've come across here, this comes, this happens a lot more than it should here in Kansas City. So what we have here is an installation that has been completed by another professional shop here in Kansas City. And by the looks of this, there's nothing professional about that. There's a uh, spaghetti wiring going on everywhere. I guess that's a brace to hold up the false floor. Could have been done much better than that. This amp rack's not even lined up straight. You got amps drilled into bare metal right here, drilled straight into the floor. It's actually a hazard. A lot of exposed um, wiring that has current running through it. Here's a ground cable. I don't know if you've ever seen anything like that. The power's coming out and it's like 
that's 12 volt right there and that's probably less than a quarter inch away from bare metal i don't think i really need to explain what could happen at that point point. and this guy spent a lot of money on this install and we have to go back through and fix it and it's going to cost him probably more than he spent in the first time it's extremely unfortunate but we see this a lot but we are here to bring crafty clean installations to kansas city so once again you like audio you want the best you want good stuff i mean you can get some good equipment you get the job done right i mean that's why you go to professional and that's why you go to a place like this thanks guys appreciate everything hey man thanks for coming out thanks for checking out the shop really appreciate it we'll make it back out deal oh sure perfect they're real good people and they're out of spring hill kansas so you ever get a chance go onto their website and check them out LIS Audio and don't say LIS, they'll get mad at you. Trust me, they get mad at me all the time. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Twin City Customs, okay, Joe and them out there, man, they've been good to us. They've been a couple sponsors for a couple years now. And you ever go look out there at his building and see some of those cars, he's got some of the best cars coming out of Kansas City. Here we are not far from downtown Kansas City at Twin City Customs. If you've never heard of them, you're about to. stuff out here look at this little thing it's got some cool stuff he's gonna be doing with these little things they're gonna be like uh, bars on wheels kind of thing It'd be kind of neat oh, no. that's loud got a Jeep body here people might not think much on the Jeep body part but it's um it's it's probably going to become a SEMA car when it's all said and done. Let's see, we've got we got Palas in here of various years. Got this guy back here. Ooh, check out this Lincoln. Now we've we've saw some of these Lincolns down at the at the Ozarks during the uh, the Magic Dragon Street Meet, which you can well catch that here. This is uh, small. Well, I'm saying they had a few of those sitting there. Oh, love the 50s here. Truck, the Twin Cities, this is the one. So if you go to Google's Maps and, and, and it puts the pin on where it is, you click on it and it brings you the pictures. That's the truck that's actually sitting in front of the shop. So Got some Camaros in here, some little newer. Now he's gonna restore this one. This one's gonna be cool. He's gonna, I think he's gonna uh, put that one back to original. So no real big modifications he's gonna do there like most of the cars do. This is what you're not supposed to do to a car. Um, not a, not a good idea. Oof. Ouch. And uh, here's Joe's car. Have we seen Joe's car yet? Let's check out Joe's car. Actual, you know his personal car that he drives around so very very nice and we got all various little projects going on uh, this one this one's coming along quite nice this is uh, well another Impala but the, the amount of flake that's in this is really really I mean it's just look here check it out so yeah I mean it's kind of some other various things. How about this? You like those uh, chameleon type of paint jobs where it actually, um, uh, some people do wraps, some people do paint jobs, but so as you walk, it actually kind of changes color as you go. So very nice, very cool. Um, little three wheel trike deal. So you've got a drift car here with the RB25 in it. Working that out for somebody, so that's cool. And uh, remember that little thing I said, they're gonna do like a little bar. That's another one. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Let's go talk to Joe. And behind Twin City Customs, we're gonna talk with Joe right here real quick. This is, uh, this is your shop. Yeah. This is what you're doing. How long have you had this shop? Uh, this particular spot, I've been here for about three years now. I've been in the industry probably for almost 20 years now. Um, just okay. something I got into when I was a kid and never really turned back on it. 
and you've produced some really nice stuff. Yeah. You've got really nice cars and the products I'm seeing here uh, look really good, which we're gonna get on um, more detail at another time. But yeah. you're actually helping out Denny Eddy with the KC Showdown. Yeah. And you're one of the sponsors for Yeah, this is I think the second or third year we've done it now. Second, I believe. Yeah. 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 Very good nice. Good show though. Comes out, nice turnout, um, gets everybody together, whether it's a hot rod, import, motorcycle, whatever, everybody's you know, more than welcome to come out, good time. Yeah, we love that that diversity, right? Yeah, getting for everybody sure. together. And that's, yeah. I mean, and that's what you know, it's all about. The, the, the shows that actually make it, the shows that actually start growing and become more are the ones that are like that more than anything. Oh, so, yeah, for sure. So, yeah. but that's very awesome. Joe is awesome, really nice to meet you too. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we'll. Uh, We'll do, we, we got some more detailed stuff coming and show some more projects of what he's working on too. So sure. appreciate it, uh, Joe. And we're actually going to now talk with someone else that's gonna be a little bit more on that scene that we talk about as far as diversity and someone else who's <laughs> kind of a right-hand man to Denny, which is uh, Stacy. Say doing? hi, Stacy. How you doing? So yeah, so now on, on that thing, so obviously we were talking earlier about how to, to bring everybody together. It's not a matter of, hey, do I got a domestic, do I got an import, whatever like that. Right. And you're in that kind of thing too, because you own both of ends of the spectrum. Yes, I do. I have well. a I have a Lolo, a '84 Cutlass Supreme. I have a G body, and I also drive a 2019 Acura TLX, which, which is a nice car, actually. You've been uh, with the KC Showdown stuff as well. Correct. And tell me a little bit about what you do with them. Um, help promote. Uh, I want more diversity. I want more people to come out to the shows. Why can't we all just be be together? Hang out. It's a car thing. We all love it. Why can't we be as big as SEMA here? Because it's Vegas. I don't. I don't, yeah, I don't really yeah, know. Okay. Yeah. You got a know. point there. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas is kind of big, and it is. But there, there's no reason here in the Kansas City area to not have such a success with these kind of shows. I mean, we, there's exactly. a couple that are around. Matter of fact, Casey does host one of the, if not the largest, single day show. Um, and it's not really more of a car show. It's more of a it's it's more of a get together yeah. with a little bit of a show. But everybody has their cars, and exactly. I mean we have that kind of stuff here. So there's no reason why. If everybody comes out more and more positive, we can get a lot more vendors to open up, a lot more spaces to have indoor shows, three four day shows, and we can show the left coast and the right coast how we can do in the Midwest. Yeah, why not? And we can't be any better centrally located than Kansas City. Exactly. When it comes to that right there. So yeah, that that's awesome. And uh, um, also looking forward to hanging out with you at the KC Showdown, which of course is Definitely. June 30th. June 30th. Which just cancel everything you have planned for the weekend because exactly. you got to go to that the KC Showdown. That weekend my weekend. Come out and hang out with Stacy. That's right. The KC Showdown. Denny would be there too. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's Denny. If, you, if you're into that kind of thing. If, if you're into that, yeah, Denny. <laughs> Thanks, Stacy. Appreciate welcome, it, man. Have a good one. All right. Pretty sweet rides. If you like low riders and pinstriping, you got some $100,000 cars out there. And man, they do some amazing work. It's just hard to say. So, and Joe's been real cool with us, you know, for a couple years now. And when that big show comes around, we're gonna be looking for him to be one of our major sponsors, you know? <laughs> that puts him on the spot. <laughs> you know, we like to thank Twin City Customs for always coming through for us too. Appreciate it. Uh, Old Shiny Pizza, of course, there are sponsors for uh, North KC Showdown. And Will and all them, man, they've been good to us. And Old Shiny Pizza comes out and serve up their pizza and you would believe it's just delicious, man. KC Showdown is coming up real, real soon and we're out uh, checking out some of the sponsorships to help make the event possible. So uh, out here at Old Shiny Pizza, this is our 50th anniversary and it's in the second generation family. And so we're gonna check out and see all the cool stuff that they got going on at the event today. this uh, kind of additional little party room man cave-ish kind of thing out from the you know restaurant part and you kind of come down here you've got an awesome little fireplace the flooring's really cool it's got its own personal bar so you don't have to go up the steps to the other bar I mean who wants to go that far to get a drink right <laughs> you know huh but really cool place let's go take a look at the rest of this place That's that's the size I want. I want the big Joe.
right, hey, we're here with uh, Will, who's, well, the owner as, at the moment, operator yeah. of Old Shiny Pizza, right? Yeah, yeah, my dad started it years ago, back in 69. I would say almost roughly 50 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Center, we are doing it's a 50-year 50 year, <laughs> 50 year anniversary it's celebration. Right. That's and right. You, now, you've been uh, basically in uh, possession of ownership here since when now? Probably 03. Um, I was in the service uh, right out of high school, and once I got out of service, um, I kind of started, you know, start to take the day-to-day -day operation over and stuff what, like what's, that. Uh, so. What branch were you in? The Marines. Marines? Yeah, that's right. Marine Corps. How, how many United years were you in the Marine Corps? Uh, six years. Six years? Yeah. Hey, so. um, I'm going to go this way. Hold on. Let's, yeah. I do this myself all the time. All right. Um, I appreciate so, you for your service, yeah, man. I really years. do. I did not realize that until just right 30, now. 30, I, went, yeah, I can't remember my ammo. At 3381, I think. Food service specialist, of course. Right, there I'm you in, go. I'm in the pizza business. Right so. on. Did you buy the <laughs> shirt? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is what they issue us now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, very cool. The getup is so, awesome. Yeah. Um, very appropriate for the day. Yeah, your pizza is awesome. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's good times. And uh, so you've been 15, 16 years or so here. Yeah, yeah. With it, we, uh, we were in an old house. My dad started out in an old house in 1969. Uh, and then in 85, we started kind of outgrowing we're in the house. So in 85, he actually built this place. And so we've been in this location since 85. So the original location was the house, but just like yep. Caddy Corner from the, here, right? Yep, you could just, there used to be a house where this brick building was. So Caddy the house Corner doesn't exist anymore. Right doesn't now. even exist. Anymore. So as far as, you know, you can say this is the original location yeah. in a sense because there's nothing else yeah, we're before just, this, right? Yeah, we're just a few feet away from each other. So, gotcha. Yeah. So, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It looks really nice this. inside. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Guys, if you've never been here, of course, um, it's a lot cooler inside than just a parking lot. They really, you guys really lot. made it look nice in there. Right? Yeah, we kind of, you know, you, you want to make it feel warm and, you know, cozy and stuff, you know, like like you're almost sitting in your house in a way. You know, I, you've you got, succeeded. You know, yeah. just kind of like you want to be able to relax and enjoy a dinner or whatever and almost feel like, yeah, fireplace you know, fireplace yeah. and just the old wood paneling and stuff like that. It just kind of makes it feel homey. So, yeah. yeah, I dig. It's awesome. Yeah, well, thank you. And, well, it's it it nice officially meeting you. Yeah, I know, well, nice I've heard from you from yeah. uh, from Danny, in case you showed up. But yeah, yeah it's, uh, nice officially. Good operation uh, there too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. been there and. Uh, Hey, we appreciate you helping Danny put on a show like Casey oh, Showdown. Hey, hey, because yeah. if it wasn't for people like you, I mean, That's, and people with cars, for instance, it, that yeah. wouldn't happen. No, and then, you know, it's, it's good to help each other out because it only just benefits everybody, you know, and increasing business and brand awareness and stuff yep. like that. So, you know, scratch one back and somebody will scratch your back. There you, know? you go. So help each other out. Thanks again, Will. Not a problem, man. Appreciate Thank you very it. much. All righty. Have a good one. Do. Craving cars, you know. He's 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 been good to me too. He's been coming out and uh, hanging out with us for a couple times, shooting these videos, you know, and putting us on his site and everything, putting us on his YouTube channel and everything else. So, you know, we appreciate him. Of course, he's going to be there all day, and he's going to be the one walking walking around and talking to all you guys. So, please speak with him about coming out and doing something at your business, because man, he's pretty cool, and you'll see him when you meet him. He's he's a pretty goofy guy. And we'd like to thank him. And maybe he won't wear the same shirt, you know, that he wore that one day. <laughs> Ask him about it. He'll let you know about it. I'm the editor guy. We know how to edit things. Yeah. I'm going to edit that part out. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, my personal thank, of course, to Denny for, you know, working with me even and, and letting me work with him because this is yeah. just a lot of fun. The more we can get this out to people in, in the car community to have fun with these kind of shows, the better. And, uh, yeah, yeah, man. It's so all I, about. Uh, I, I appreciate you too, and this is the reason why I, I want to do this as, as well with you and, and help get this uh, get the show out there, get the promotion. Yeah, man. It's all about spreading the word and uh, having more people come out. The better, you know. We just love it when people all come together, like we said, and just love our cars. You know. We have been very busy here at Craven Cars. We've had a lot of things that we've had to take care of, so. Videos had kind of slowed down a little bit, but I tell you what, they are coming back. they are got some really good stuff coming out that we've already been to and some really cool stuff coming up in the future. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and please like, share, and subscribe if you have not done that already. All of your support is very well appreciated and welcomed. Thank you so much for all that. Now, take it easy. We'll see you at the Casey Showdown next weekend. Good night. And so, hey, thanks for joining today. And to all you cravers out there, keep, keep craving. craving. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I get that all the time. People call me Eddie Denny.
a lot. Then they say, is Denny short for Dennis? No. Te te templates. Templates for those templates for our, for stuff. Right there. Because the guys are right there. Sweet, it fits. Because that would have had to redo the whole thing and that would have sucked. Not far from downtown Kansas City, actually. As we wait for these cars to go by because it's loud. I'm just seeing if you guys would actually move. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta redo that. That's terrible.